Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an ordinary hours earnings pay item in Xero Australia. Now, before we start, I'd just like to point out that this video is part of a full course. So if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then check out the links in the description below. Also, I use the Australian version of Xero's demo company in this video, but you may still get value out of it if you're using a different country's version as some of the principles may be just the same. Okay, before we dive into Xero, I'd just like to point out that we're going to set up an ordinary hours earnings pay item. And during this, I will show you where to go on the Australian tax office website to get the information you need for the pay as you go withholding, superannuation, and BAS settings. Also, if you're using a live Xero account or you're using the demo company, you may already have this pay item set up in Xero, but we'll set one up from scratch anyway so you can see how it's done. And then after that, we'll take a look at how you assign the pay item to your employees when you set them up in payroll and when you pay them. Okay, so let's jump into Xero now and see how this is done. Okay, so over here in the Australian demo company, just start off by going to the main menu and settings, and then payroll settings, and then the pay items tab. And then we're looking at this earnings tab here, which is already showing up. So like I said before, you may already have this ordinary hours pay item set up in the demo company. And if you're doing this in your live zero file for your business, it might already be there as well because it, it actually does come with some of these things set up. But I'm going to show you how to set one up anyway, particularly given that the one that's set up here is actually not right. So here in this reportable as W1 column, it says no when it actually should say yes. So that's not correct. So if you do want to use this one, you can just go in and edit it like that and just click on reportable as W1 and save. Okay, and then that's correct now. So you can go ahead and use that or you can set another one up from scratch, which is what I'm going to do. So to set one up from scratch, just click on add and you can see that you've actually got ordinary time earnings as one of the things you can pick. So we'll just click on that. So we'll give it a name and the one down here I think is called ordinary hours so let's just call it ordinary time just to give it a different name. Okay. And then it's got an optional display name here as well. So I might just copy and paste that down like so. And then down here, this is where you start to choose some things like the rate. So if you go there, you can see you've got fixed amount, multiple of employees, ordinary earnings rate or rate per unit. So fixed amount would be if it's going to be say um, a fixed salary and rate per unit would be if you're going to put an hourly rate uh, for people. So I'll select rate per unit for this example. And now it's saying what are the actual units um, and hours is a pretty common one. You can put other types of units in there as well. I believe you can put days uh, for example. So I'm just gonna put hours and then rate per unit I'm gonna leave blank because you can actually put that in um, per employee um, when you're setting them up. Okay, so the next one is the expense account and this is an important one. So here in the demo company, the expense account for wages and salaries is 477. So that's that one there. And I'll show you where um, that's actually set up as well. And then down the bottom here, you've got these check boxes and you need to make sure you get these right. So for example, the first one says exempt from pay as you go withholding tax. So this is not going to be exempt from pay as you go withholding tax. And the way you find that out is you go to the ATO website and you find this page here, which is pay as you go withholding labels on your activity statement. And down here at W1, so this is the label for your withholding tax on salaries, wages, and other payments. And it just gives you a list down here of the items that should be included in W1 and should have withholding tax charged to them. So without going through a full tax lesson, what I'll tell you is that if you just go to the ATO website and you just type this into the search box at the top, you should get this page. And then you can just confirm down here what you should and shouldn't have um, in that particular label. 
So because this goes into the label, you can see there it's got salaries and wages, etc. It's not exempt. So we don't want that to be exempt. And we actually do want it to be reportable as W1, because again, over here it says that salaries and wages should go to W1. So we need to check that box. And then the other one is the superannuation guarantee contribution. So this is just the normal super, uh, which is 10% at the moment. It will probably go up in future um, that you pay your employees on their earnings, on their ordinary times earnings. And this checkbox is whether you want to exempt it from that. So we definitely don't want to exempt this because this is their ordinary time earnings and we want to uh, pay super on top of that. And where you can check that is again on the ATO website. Just have a look at this page that says list of payments that are ordinary time earnings. Because anything that's ordinary time earnings, you need to pay uh, the super on. So it's got their OTE. So obviously, if this is their um, ordinary time that they're working during ordinary hours of the day, then you're going to pay super on it. So it's not overtime or anything like that. So don't check that box. Okay, so if you're going to create an ordinary hours um, pay item, this is what you need to do down the bottom here. So I'll just click on add. Okay, so now we've got that one down the bottom here. It's pretty similar to this one here that was already in there, except we've just given it a different name. And I'll just quickly show you that this 477 wages and salaries, when you set up these earnings items, just make sure they're the same as over here on the organization tab, where you've got this wages expense account, just make sure you pick the same one. So that's 477 wages and salaries. And that's 477 wages and salaries down here. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to set one up. So let's just see what happens after you set it up. So if I just duplicate the page and we'll go into payroll and employees. Okay, so obviously for your business, you're going to need to click on here and add your employees um, one by one or do a bulk upload. But I'll just show you uh, with these employees that are already set up where those pay items come through. So we'll just go to LeBron. Okay, so what you've got to do when you're setting up your employees is go to the pay template tab. And this is where you choose their earnings. So that ordinary hours one, that's the one that was already set up. So let's just say we didn't want to use that and we wanted to put in the new one that we set up so we can get ordinary time. And then here you get to choose whether you enter the rate or an annual salary. So just choose whichever one is relevant to you. And it's just confirming the expense account that it goes to there on the profit and loss. Just click OK. I'll just leave that as enter rate. Okay, so now you've got to put in um, his rate and I think uh, LeBron is actually in the fortnightly pay calendar. So let's just say his hours are 76 hours per fortnight. And let's just say his rate is $50 an hour. So it works it out for you there. Now, if you wanted to do it the other way, you could say, add that ordinary time, enter a salary. And instead you can just put his hours per week, even though he's getting paid fortnightly, just make sure you put his weekly hours there. So that would be 38 for LeBron. And let's just say his annual salary is 100,000 like that. Okay, so whatever you put in there, that's going to flow through um, to his pay when you go and post the pay runs. So you can add these items into your employees here, but if you just wanted to do it as a one-off, for example, if I actually go into the pay runs, I'll just leave that. There was no need to save it there. And I'll just go into here. Okay, just into this draft pay run. Let's just choose Sally. Okay, and once again, you can, you can add that earnings line into here that we just set up. So you can go ordinary time there and you can go through the process of adding it in however you need to. But just bear in mind, if you add it into one pay run through here, it doesn't actually add it into their employee template. So if you want it to be in there permanently, go to employees and add it to their template. If you just want it as a one-off, go into your pay runs and just put it in like this. Okay, so that's how you can add an ordinary time earnings pay item 
and you can assign it to your employees either through their pay template or you can do it into a pay run.